Hello everyone, it's Koneko here and today's video is going to be a little review video on this wig and a mention of this new shirt that I got. So I'm sort of bringing back Feature Fridays with this video. Like before, they won't be every single Friday, but when I have one or two small items to kind of feature, I'll use Feature Friday for that. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this lovely blonde gold-ish wig that I received from Khalees if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So it came in this package, which is a Ziploc bag. It has a little window here and some information on the back. When I first got this wig in the mail, I did a little video clip showing what it looked like, pulling it out of the bag, my first thoughts on it. So I'm gonna quickly insert that first before I talk about the feel and fit of it. So the wig came in this bag, which was inside another package. It has some wig care information on the back and how to put it on, although I don't really put it on this way, but that's okay. And here is a little window so you can kind of see it. Um, when I first took this out and saw this, it I was expecting it to be all this lighter color, so I'll insert a picture to kind of show what the image looked like and what this wig looked like side by side, and I'll do that again later. And there you have the wig in the typical netting to keep it from getting too tangled or anything. Some people keep these and reuse these, I just throw them away. It's got the Khalees tag on it, some more little instructions in case you need it. Looks like gorgeous coloring, like Goldilocks type color. There's some packaging in here as most wigs will have, so I'll just take that out. It appears some of the packaging has like gotten stuck to some glue or something up here maybe from the heat of travel it melted a bit um so i'm just gonna go ahead and do my best to get that off so i did my best for now as you can see there's still some pieces of paper stuck to it it feels a little bit sticky and strange up here um, the overall netting inside is pretty good. It's pretty standard for the types of wigs that I get and the ones that I really like. It's not quite a lace front, but because there's no lacing, but I believe it's supposed to kind of give the effect. The color is gorgeous and the overall quality of the hair feels great. It's very bouncy and like really catches beautifully in the light. I'm just unsure how this is going to sit um, once I actually put it on. Hopefully this stretches a lot to get over my big head and all my hair. I feel like as long as it goes on, it'll be a pretty good wig. And I'll let you know if I think it's too small or too thin. Because I can see through it a little bit just by holding it like this, but we'll see. So yeah, at first when I pulled out this wig, and even when I saw it in that little window, it was a lot more gold and that sort of blonde than I remember from the pictures. So my only comment is that when you're looking at wigs on this website that you scroll through all of the photos because the first few studio photos have studio lights and make it a lot brighter and paler than I'd say the wig actually is. But they did for this wig um, have a photo at the end where somebody is just holding it and it's in natural lighting so you can really see the gold tones better. And right now I'm right in front of a window and so I have natural light coming in so that you can kind of see how there are some like gold flex colors in there. 
and paler colors as well. And this wig is not a lace front, but it kind of sits and acts like one because there are no bangs and there is a split right here. And when you line up the wig by your ears, that's where the part naturally sits. Although with most wigs, you can play around where the split sits, but I kind of like this. So it's like just really long bangs off to the side. And I thought this wig would work well for a lot of different characters. When I saw exactly how kind of gold it was, some of my cause plans kind of shifted a little bit, but that's okay. This wig was free. It was sent to me for free. It took quite a bit to get here, but there was a little bit of a hiccup with the shipping information. But once that was cleared, it came really fast. So this wig is very soft. It's quite shiny, but not too shiny. It feels really nice and bouncy. And it's quite thick too. It's not too bad. It covers up my hair, my large amount of hair pretty well and it has a nice flow to it and you can style it in different ways and I think it would work really well and look really cute. So overall the wig is beautiful and it fits nicely, it feels great. I don't have any complaints about it really except for that paper that you saw in the clip was sticking to it and so it's a little bit sticky up there. But that could have been from shipping it with weather conditions or anything like that as well. But yeah, that's my only complaint other than that that this wig in my opinion is a 10 out of 10. And now I'm going to move on to this shirt. So I got this cute casual Sailor Moon shirt from Peachy Shop. It's peachy with an extra I at the end dot shop on Instagram. And I have a discount code <laughs> with them and it is Koneko Doll. I got quite a few items from them over the past few months which is so sweet of her so this sailor moon t-shirt you can kind of see the ita bag in the background there i did purchase um a strappy thing for myself and um bat garters for myself as well from them because I really love and support her shop so you should definitely check them out even if you decide not to use my discount code who doesn't love a discount right it's 10% this shirt is very soft sort of like I don't know what this material is called I'm sorry but I feel like it's very light and good for summer conventions maybe as a casual like Sailor Moon or I can see myself rocking this in the summer if you know I'm going on like a Thursday night to pick up tickets and I have my Ita bag which right now is full of Sailor Moon merchandise so I would look like a huge Moonie. The material like I don't know how to explain it it's like light and like cool feeling and I feel like you wouldn't really sweat in it or like it's just really breathable and like I'm wearing a black bra underneath it but you can't really see through it even though it feels like so white and thin if you know probably what I'm talking about for what kind of fabric this is or I'm sure it's listed on her website but leave a comment down below. But yeah, this shirt is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. It's super comfortable and casual and I really love it. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this wig and this shirt. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. All the links will be in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, just leave them down below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!